Good evening, and welcome to Evening Prayer. Um, I've got a little moment or so before we'll start, uh, but I just kind of want to pass on some news to you. Uh, just a little bit ago, I received a phone call from Tom Brennan. Uh, many of you know Ann Brennan. Uh, she had fallen around Christmas time and had broken her hip. And today she passed away. Uh, Ann was a remarkable woman. Uh, she was the go-to person for the sick and the homebound. Uh, and she spent many years going to the convalescent hospitals and homes of parishioners. It was truly her ministry. She had a real compassion for it. Uh, so we ask uh, for Anne's prayers uh, in our ministry. Uh, so let us uh, just take a moment here to kind of quiet ourselves, uh, center ourselves, uh, to acknowledge the presence of God in each one of us. So let us begin. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord God has given him the throne of David, his father, Alleluia. Psalm 132, God's promise to the house of David. O Lord, remember David and all the many hardships he endured, the oath he swore to the Lord, his vow to the strong one of Jacob. I will not enter the house where I live, nor go to the bed where I rest. I will give no sleep to my eyes. To my eyelids, I will give no slumber till I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling for the strong one of Jacob. At Ephrathah, we heard of the ark. We found it in the plains of Yermon. Let us go to the place of his dwelling let us go to kneel at his footstool. Go up, Lord, to the place of your rest, you and the ark of your strength. Your priests shall be clothed with holiness. Your faithful shall ring out their joy. For the sake of David, your servant, do not reject your anointed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord God has given him the throne of David, his father. Alleluia. Jesus Christ is supreme in his power. He is King of kings and Lord of lords. Alleluia. The Lord swore an oath to David. He will not go back on his word. A son, the fruit of your body, will I set upon your throne. If they keep my covenant and truth and my laws that I have taught them, their sons also shall rule on your throne from age to age. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his dwelling. This is my resting place forever. Here have I chosen to live. I will greatly bless her produce. I will fill her poor with bread. I will clothe her priests with salvation, and her faithful shall ring out their joy. There's David's stock will flower, and I will prepare a lamp for my anointed. I will cover his enemies with shame, but on him my crown shall shine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you chose to suffer and be overwhelmed by death in order to open the gates of death and triumph. Stay with us to help us on our pilgrimage. Free us from all evil by the power of your resurrection. In the company of your saints and a constant remembering of your love for us, may we sing of your wonders in our Father's house. <clears throat> Jesus Christ is supreme in his power. He is King of kings and Lord of lords. Alleluia. Lord, who is your equal in power? Who is like you, majestic in holiness? Alleluia. The Canticle, the Judgment of God. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath in the moment to judge the dead, the time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. Now have salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. For the accusers of our brother is cast out, who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. So rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, in your Lord, who, excuse me, Lord, who is your equal in power, who is like you, majestic in holiness? Alleluia. <clears throat> in a reading from 1 Peter. The reason why Christ died for sins once for all, the just man for the sake of the unjust, was that he might lead you to God. He was put to death in so far as fleshly existence goes, but was given life in the realm of the Spirit. He went to heaven and is at the right hand of God, with angelic rulers and powers subject to him. Responsorial The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. When they saw the risen Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia. And glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the living bread come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. The bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. Alleluia. Mechanical of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. 
Amen. I am the living bread come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. The bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. Hallelujah. Christ rose from the dead as the first fruits of those who sleep. In our joy, let us praise him and say, Firstborn from the dead, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, remember your holy church built on the apostles and reaching to the ends of the earth, and let your blessings rest on all who believe in you. Firstborn from the dead, hear our prayer. You are the healer of soul and body. Come to our aid and save us in your love. Firstborn from the dead, hear our prayer. Raise up the sick and give them strength. Free them from their infirmities. Firstborn from the dead, hear our prayer. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Help those in distress of mind or body, and in your compassion, lift up those in need. Firstborn from the dead, hear our prayer. Through your cross and resurrection, you open for all the way to immortality. Grant to our deceased brothers and sisters the joys of your eternal kingdom. Firstborn from the dead, hear our prayer. The Lord's Prayer Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, in this holy season, we come to know the full depth of your love. You have freed us from the darkness of error and sin. Help us to cling to your truths with fidelity, and we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us now go in peace, that we might fulfill God's will in our daily life. And also keep the uh, Brennan family in your prayers as uh, they, are, they enter into their grief process for their mother, Anne. And we pray for Anne's husband, Tom. So God bless all of you. Good evening. <laughs>